Cyclone Marker has made landfall along the coasts of Bangladesh and Myanmar. Hundreds of thousands of people have been evacuated to safer areas as strong winds and rainfall batter the coastline of the two countries. Nearly a million Rohingya refugees living in camps at Cox's Bazar in Bangladesh are in the storm's rejected path. Aid agencies say they are preparing for a major emergency response. Let's get the latest from Tanvir Chowdhury, who joins us from Cox's Bazar. Uh, Tanvir, bring us up to speed with the latest the cyclone has been uh, approaching fast it's landed in fact what's been happening okay as you can see behind me the wind speed has really geared up since last uh, half an hour now according to the bangladesh med office it could hit somewhere between now and uh, local time 4 p.m which will be 10 gmt that's been saying that from 6 gmt to 10 gmt is the targeted time the tracker is showing it's moving more towards Myanmar coastline rather than uh, the Bangladesh Technaf area, but it will get some of the thrust here. We have a danger signal number 10, which is the highest. Uh, that's Atlantic category uh, five hurricane. So it's, it's really uh, one of the strongest uh, cyclone we have seen in recent decade. Now, most of the people have been evacuated Naval Center, where at least over 200 people have been evacuated, emergency, medical teams, thousands of volunteers are standby. Uh, same in the refugee camp. Unfortunately, the refugee camp don't have concrete shelter. Most of the people are living in a uh, bamboo hut with a tarpaulin. Few of the government offices and mosques and other are built with concrete, but there's no shelter, and it's too late to evacuate that many number of people, nearly a million refugees, half of them children. And in this part, between Chottagram, which is uh, about uh, nearly 200 kilometers from here, and the entire Cox Bazar belt is exposed to this cyclone, mainly where we are is Technaf, is the last time Bangladesh bordering Myanmar. So this is the area they're expecting to hit. I'm 20 kilometers from the town. Mm. On front of me is a hill. Behind that, there are a lot of coastal villages. Fishermen, they were here about three hours back, walking, just looking around, and now most of them are gone. Right. They clearly know the danger. Now, the Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina herself, is monitoring the cyclone, and they said they'll do their best to tackle with whatever the after effect may be after the cyclone. Things looking pretty bad as far as the wind goes. Tanvi, thank you. Tanvi, thank you so much for the update. Tanvi Chowdhury live there at Cox's Bazaar, where uh, Cyclone Mocha has uh, hit Bangladesh and Myanmar, as we've said earlier, with a million refugees at Bangladesh's Cox's Bazaar in the uh, storm's path. We'll keep you up to date with the latest with Tanvi Chowdhury, our correspondent who's on the ground.